Welcome back. In the last session, we have discussed the importance of the batch size. So now we are going to compute the training set size based on the base, uh, on the batch size. So we have said that the training set must have a size which is uh, divisible by the batch size without remainder which means the modulo of such operation must be zero. Let's try to compute it manually. So first of all, we computing length of our entire data set. This is 7776. In the next step, we are subtracting the test set. Test set will be of 10% of the entire data set and we are getting this number, 6998.4. So now, if we try to devise this value by the batch size, we are getting this float number. And it indicates that this value is not entirely, uh, not uh, divisible by, by the batch size without remainder. So we can compute modulo. We see modulo is 24. It's not, uh, it's not divisible without remainder. Uh, sorry, 22. Now, we can guess now what, uh, what the number could be. Actually, uh, I have already taken the correct one and it's a simple mathematical calculation actually, which can be done manually. And you can see for this number, for 6,976, the modulo is equal zero. So now just imagine uh, the scenario. You are trying out several batch sizes and every time you have to compute the training and test set size, which is divisible by the batch size. If you do it manually, it's uh, inefficient and time consuming. So even if it takes five minutes, so you have every time or three minutes, uh, every time to remember, I have to compute this and uh, write some lines of code. So we can, to do this, we can write a method or function here in Python, which will uh, do it for us. I have written this already here. This function takes three parameters. It takes data set, it takes uh, page size, and it, take, it takes test set in percent. So we do following. First of all, we compute the length of the data set, which we have done already here actually in this cell. Uh, we have computed length, then we uh, subtract from this length the test set length, and then we are going to iterate within the range of lengths and try for every length in this, in this range, try to compute modulo. So the length, modulo, batch size. And every value which has modulo zero, every value of length in this range, we're going to store in uh, in this temporal array, train, train length values. And then in the end, we're returning just the maximum, maximum value from this array. Let's see how it works. So it has found two values here, which are divisible uh, without remainder by the batch size. This is uh, 6,912 and 6,976. And this method takes the last one, so the maximum one. And this is our, our uh, training set length. And this is actually what we, uh, what we needed to do in, in this session. So stay tuned. Until the next time, enjoy our sessions. Bye-bye.